This video is designed to give you an overview on the topic funneling process. Topic funneling is a series of steps that allow you to narrow your research focus. This helps you ask stronger questions and find better resources. Remember that topic funneling is an iterative process. You may do it more than once. And in fact, you should do it more than once. So what is the benefit of topic funneling? Imagine that the entire scope of your interested topic is an iceberg. You begin at the part you can see above the surface. This is where general terms, ideas, and questions come in, but they often return very weak questions or massive amounts of research that may be barely connected or hardly useful. This information provides simplistic questions with easy answers, and it's definitely not good for research. Topic funneling helps you get below the surface. That's where you need to be. This gives you specific terms, ideas, and questions that can provide more complex questions and a fewer number of sources, but ones that are higher in quality and have a stronger connection to your topic. Complex questions are the ones that have greater potential and opportunity in research fields. Let's look at a sample of how to topic funnel. This is simply a different graphic than the one that is provided to you in PDF form on Canvas. Topic funneling goes through four stages, the broad topic, the narrow topic, the focused topic, and the initial research question. The broad topic is the general idea, the large body of knowledge and or information that you are interested in. For example, the broad topic here is education. The narrow topic is one that is slightly more specific. It moves in on one particular piece of this larger area. For example, the narrow topic here in education is gamification in education. This has already limited the amount of information that we can find by specifying what we're looking for. Within the narrow topic, you have a focused topic. The focus topic is the most specific piece that you will find. In this example, the focus topic is gamification for content retention and advanced placement. Here, I have been very specific about the conditions of what I want to know. This will help me limit the amount of information that I'm being given during searches and also increase the chance that the information I do receive is high quality and highly connected to my topic. After going through the broad, narrow, focused topic process, I can develop an initial research question. This is where the research will begin. As you move through the research process, know that your initial research question should and will change. In this case, my initial research question is, how does gamification for content instruction impact the retention of information in advanced placement science courses? This topic funneling process allowed me to go from the very, very general broad idea of education to a very specific piece that gives me a question that is, in theory, testable and provides some new information or new knowledge to the general field of education. Remember that topic funneling is an iterative process. It should not be a one-time thing. You can do topic funneling if you decide to change your topics, or if during the research process you find that the base is way too big and you need to narrow it down some more. It can help you in specifying terms, and it can also contribute to helping you modify the process, design, or method of your research. And you may come across new information from your research that may change the direction of your question, and topic funneling may be useful in helping you move through those stages. Don't be discouraged if you have to topic funnel more than once. 